Well, hey, First Baptist Concord, my name is Sam and I'm one of the pastors here and just wanted to share an encouraging thought with you today. You know, I'll never forget uh, the day in my life that I asked my future father-in-law if I could marry his daughter. Uh, he lived in Shreveport, I lived in Dallas, we were about three, four hours away, and I was gonna drive out to meet him at a Burger King in Longview, Texas. And I think that's probably the last time that I went in a Burger King. But anyways, I drive out to meet him, and the whole way there, you know, I'm thinking through just, man, what's he gonna ask me? What's he gonna wonder? What's he gonna wanna know before he kinda agrees to me, asking Hannah if I can marry her? And, and not only that, he, he's, an, he's a pastor at a church, and so I was so nervous, like he was gonna ask me to quote some obscure Bible verse or whatever. And I just remember as I'm driving, I'm in this long drive, I'm sitting in my car, I'm just getting more and more nervous, getting worked up, and I just remember kind of giving one of those prayers that I'm like, God, just if, if anything, just make this go well, let him say yes, and I, I mean, I'll make it up to you, God, right? We've all had those types of moments and those types of prayers before that kind of just Hail Mary, hope it works out, hope it goes well, moments of prayer. And you know, sometimes it, it seems like that's kind of what we think about prayer. That oftentimes our prayer is about getting something from God. Hey God, I, I need help with this. God, can you, you provide this? God, can you help me find a way in this? And while God does want us to bring our requests to him, there's actually more to prayer than just trying to get something from God. As a matter of fact, some of us, the reason it is in difficult times that prayer seems to be the first thing in our spiritual life to go out the window is because we've spent so much of our prayer focused on getting and we haven't always felt like we've gotten something in return, right? I mean, yes, we all have that story of that time that, that man, we prayed something, we prayed and we asked God and we pleaded with him and he delivered and he came through and he brought us through it and, and we just were so encouraged and so spiritually uplifted. But if, if we're real honest, for every story we have like that, we probably have many more stories where we've asked God, we've pleaded with God, we've prayed to God, and we just feel like it's crickets. Or, or maybe he didn't deliver, or maybe he didn't say yes, or he did say no, and we wanted him to say, he, it just didn't work the way we wanted and hoped that it would work. And sometimes when we get that, it, it leads to us giving up on prayer. And for some of us, if we're honest, the reason it's difficult to pray is we think, man, sometimes I just feel like I'm talking to the ceiling or I'm talking to the air. And we feel that way because we've, we've asked for something and maybe we haven't gotten what we wanted in return. But what if the problem is and the way, reason that prayer is difficult is because we're thinking about prayer in the wrong way. We're thinking about prayer as about getting rather than connecting. Let me read to you what James, James the half-brother of Jesus, said in James chapter four, verse eight. He said, come near to God and he will come near to you. Man, what a great verse. Come near to God and he will come near to you. You know what he's saying is when we draw and, and try to move closer to God, that he's gonna do the exact same thing back to us. He's gonna draw near to us. And he's saying, hey, if you would spend time in prayer, focusing on connecting rather than on getting, maybe you would have a different experience in that and you would be more drawn to the Lord because you would be trying to draw to him and he would draw near to you. Maybe here's the best way I can say it. We all, uh, just imagine this. Imagine your prayers like a phone call and you pick up the phone and you call God and you say, hey God, listen, I got this going on. I got this meeting. I got this thing with work. I got this thing with my family, this thing with my kids. God, help me out. Hope it goes well. See you later. Bye. And that's the end of the phone call. Well, that's not the way we communicate with other people. The way we communicate with our friends, with our family is, it's a back and a forth. It's a talk, it's a listen. Man, sometimes we pray to God and we say, God, I need your help with this. God, give me direction on this. Give me guidance on this. All right, see you later. And we hang up and that's the end of it. When was the last time in our prayer that we opened up space for God to actually speak to us? for God to actually answer the thing that we're asking him to do. When we've said, hey God, I need guidance and direction on this, and actually listened for that guidance and direction. Prayer is about communication. It's about connecting with God, connecting with your Father, with my Father, the creator of the universe. It's about not just getting, it's about connecting. And without communication, we can't have a relationship. I mean, every relationship is built on communication. But true communication is about going back and forth. It's about connecting. It's not just about telling somebody, hey, this is the problems I got, help me out, see you later, bye. So what if we did this? What if we spent time in prayer this week, not just telling God what we need, 
but actually listening for him to provide it and actually trying to connect with him in the same way that we try to connect with our family and our friends and our kids and our parents. And we would connect with God through communication, not just, hey, God, help me, but God, let me connect with you. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much that you love us so much that you sent your son here on this earth to live a sinless life, to die and to come back to life so that we could have a relationship with you. And God, sometimes we don't let that sink in, that you want a relationship with us. Relationships are built on communication. We communicate with the people that we love, the people that we care about. And God, I pray in the same way we communicate with you, that when we talk to you, when we pray to you, it wouldn't just be about getting. Yes, God, I know you want, to know, you, you want us to bring our requests to you, God. You've told us that, but you also want to connect with us. You want us to draw near to you, and you will in turn draw near to us. And God, I pray that's exactly what we do. I ask this in your name. Amen. Well, hey, hope you guys have a great week.